Hey guys, David here, and for my last key component of my desk setup, of course I needed a desk. For this build, I'm using the IKEA Bacant adjustable desk. But don't get this confused with the motorized version that's pretty popular as a budget sit-stand desk. This IKEA Bacant is manually adjustable from 65 to 85 centimeters tall, so it's purely for sitting. Also, I modified my desk to use a different tabletop with a clean rectangular shape instead of the default round top you get with the Bacant, but I'll get into that a little more later. So why do I want an adjustable desk purely for sitting? Well, for my maximum comfort and ergonomics, I like to have my arms about 90 degrees with the desk to access the keyboard and mouse. To accomplish this, I could raise my chair higher, but then I'd need a footstool to keep my legs from dangling. I could use a keyboard tray, but I've never been a fan of how they look. So for my ideal setup, I like to drop my chair until my feet are firmly planted, and then adjust my desk height so that my arms can comfortably lie on the table. Adjusting the length on the legs of the IKEA Bacant is simple, but a little tricky to get just right. The legs are held in place with the screw, and once you loosen it, just extend the tubes to the desired length, and then lock the screw back in place. Each of the legs are adjusted individually, so it will take some time and trial and error to get just the right height and level, so definitely not something you want to adjust regularly. I like the IKEA Bacant because the legs are extremely solid and well built. There's no flex in my setup, and it comes with 10 years warranty, so it's pretty much built for life. The assembly process is also super simple, with a pair of screws to attach the feet to the legs, and another screw on top to attach the legs to the frame top, and then really it's just a bunch of push pins to attach the frame to the top. The default Bacant tabletop will already have pre-drilled holes, but as I mentioned before, I modified a Skarsta tabletop to be used instead. I just marked the hole locations with a marker, then proceeded to drill larger and larger holes until I hit the necessary 10mm hole diameter. You also want to drill holes for the cable management net, but I decided not to use it. Also, when making these holes, they don't need to be any deeper than 15mm to fit the pins, and be careful with paper filled tops like the one I'm using here, where some of the areas on the top are hollow, so you'll quickly drill straight through. So that's IKEA Bacant legs with a modified Skarsta tabletop. A work desk with a solid construction, a decent price, and height adjustment for sitting. While you should measure yourself to find that exact height you need before getting this yourself, this desk is just about perfect for me at its lowest setting of 65cm tall for my ideal ergonomic setting. And of course, I think it looks super sleek for my final desk setup configuration. Hope you guys like this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.